So last week I went to visit my dad at work and we drove past the skate park I saw randomly and this place actually looked pretty cool from the road So we decided to come here and check it out today. We are at the Carteret skate park now the ramps are actually pretty awesome It's a nice five foot quarter pipe. There's a small little box jump There's like a five foot spine over there another quarter pipe. That's really tight There's a lot of weird stuff in the center over here I'm gonna show you guys curved rail curved ledge some kind of weird transition ledge looking thing if you look on the ground right there the ramp is sinking into the pavement so it's making it not smooth at all if you're on a skateboard you'd be in some trouble but we will be able to ride today yeah the peg guy he's back <laughs> hey listen it's a little weird but i think we'll have some fun with it you think it's 360 whip tappable over the trampoline box drum probably if you go through it i'm sorry i mean if i go through metal <laughs> I'll just go on that side. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah! Oh. Good start! <laughs> Good start! Oh, yeah, BK. Very blue. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Look how steep this landing is, guys. Because it's sinking into the ground, it's making a really sharp angle right there. So <laughs> it pitched them forward. That was crazy. How did it feel for a backflip besides felt the landing? Great. <laughs> oh, that was so smooth that time. Oh, you had that. Yeah, right away. a moment of silence. The elbow, not the moment hip. Of silence you really want me to go back over there are you okay with this yeah i mean as long as you are so bad <laughs> that you got to keep walking over there you know not so much that my body keeps hitting the metal ramp but you know it's that really you nice walk you. over there to film it <laughs> that was really nice of you though <laughs> oh, oh no, that one was yeah, bad that. that one was bad dude oh god oh dude Ow. are you okay honestly <laughs> That w <laughs> Either you're a wheel shifted or you broke a spoke. I don't care. <laughs> that could have been my elbow. Bad, dude. Why do you do these tricks sometimes, you know? Like you just like go on a mission. I'm I like, mean, my three fakies, fakies have been pretty good though. You have to say that. Like I've done a couple and they're pretty good. <laughs> they they <laughs> have been. The one at West Windsor was really nice. That's what I'm saying. I think that one... <laughs> oh, that one played tricks with your emotions, I think. Bro, I hit so hard I gave myself wood play. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it was terrible. It was one of the worst <laughs> fake impressions. <laughs> to top it off, it's thick metal laying on top of asphalt. <laughs> like, ow. Are you kidding me? With me laying on top of it. That's, that's a shame, dude. I feel bad for you right now. I appreciate that. I kind of wish you would have said, hey man, I don't feel like walking over there. <laughs> We're going to opt out of that one though. <laughs> How about this? Let's just get that 360, <laughs> all right? But oh, I don't, wait, want, you to do, to I don't do want you to do the tail pair or anything. Let's just get the 360, okay? Nice and low, and we're just gonna we're just gonna get we're gonna mark this one off the list, okay? I barely want to see you above this line. All right. <laughs> so I'm doing three, three flat. flat. Pretty much, with a little bit of fake. <laughs> Once your elbow gets moving back, to you wait that one out. Go there. <laughs> Come on, dude. Nice and low. There we go. Now we can ride away in dignity. Counts. Heck yeah, it counts. <laughs> Oh. Oh. What the hell was that? My knee pad. Oh, I'll be honest, I thought he hit himself in the chest. Ding! <laughs> my knee pad. <gasps> Core! Oh. Dude, whoa, Dude, were you that was thinking? I was trying. Well, that I was, knew it was so there. dumb. Oh. Oh. I saw you do it, I'm like, no! I knew it was there, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to sit on it. I didn't know that. Oh, oh. that was almost... Oh. Oh, he thought it was like a regular height like the other one. <laughs> nope, not on this side. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Much better like without hitting life. yourself. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, okay. Beautiful work, man. <laughs> Woo! So I challenged BK to somehow do a tail up off of this obstacle right here. What are you coming up with? You just want me to get wet. <laughs> if, it, if it happens, it is what it is. Yeah, BK. Over, double peg, back over. I'm the big spine, dude. Stupid spine. <laughs> Something tells me I'm gonna hurt my other damn elbow now. <laughs> You're really fine. Nice! Oh. Over Smith! Oh. Woo! Beautiful work, Gore. Beautiful work. <laughs> yeah, Gore. At the other end of the skate park, there's a couple street things. So there's a little quarter pipe, a little bank over there, and a little fun box in the middle with a nice ledge. The ledge is actually pretty dope. Corey wants to do a feeble across the top to tires to 180, which would be pretty sick. Oh, that was clean. I think I'm gonna loop out. I thought it was short. <laughs> I think I'm gonna loop out. See all the pieces? What is it? Yeah. Where are they at? Yeah. Somebody just couldn't hang. So they Couldn't it. figure it out. <laughs> no way. I promise it wasn't me. Although I, I don't blame. <laughs> you, you just stepped on one. I stepped on one. So Corey found those little pieces, all colored pieces everywhere, of a Rubik's cube, and we're assuming that somebody <laughs> could not figure it out and just had enough of it. Or you know what, man? I didn't even think to give them the benefit of the doubt. They might have figured it out and be like, Yeah! <laughs> just boom! <spiked> it. <laughs> <laughs> He called it, didn't he? I think I'm gonna loop out. I think I'm gonna loop out. Yeah, BK. Do I go faster? Like, oh, no. like <laughs> that just seemed like I was coming out. I don't know. Really I, don't, I don't love 180 pegs on it. The height of this ledge and the height of that, because uh -huh. that's gonna throw you up really high. Right. I don't know. I would. I don't even think it's worth it. No. Yeah, you're right. See? You're right. I didn't try. Like I, the only good amount of effort was to get my front end up and still. Yeah, no, you're you're right. Yeah. Can't be I know for you guys it doesn't look cold in these videos, but it is really cold. Like my hands from holding the camera, they're all red <laughs> and uh, they're getting really hard to control. I mean, it's, I'm a trooper, I don't care. I'm getting used to it at this point, but it's pretty wild how cold it is in New Jersey in the winter time. <laughs> I really wish I had an indoor park. I'm messing up big time. Hopefully I can make one eventually. Like it's really hard to find a building and it's, it's just a hard time to open up a skate park during a pandemic too. Like, so I don't know, we'll see what happens in the future, but it's pretty cool. I'm glad we got to come and check out this park. I'd love to bring Maddie here. I think Maddie will find a lot of really cool things to do here. So I just wanna give you guys a quick update on the giveaway bikes that I was doing last week. The hyper that we built up was sent out to New York. Jared Butler got the bike. He said he's gonna try to get pictures with the bike and the rider when he gives it away. So hopefully I can share it with you guys. While I was giving away the hyper frame, I ended up seeing a comment, but this time it was in England. So I talked to Jaden Burns. He said there was a kid at his local skate park named Tyler that had a bike, but it was falling apart. He said the thing was always giving him problems. So I decided I was gonna send him a bike as well. But this time around, I had to do it a different way because we are over here in the United States and sending a bike to England would be a big hassle. So I decided to buy a bike from Source BMX. I ended up getting a We The People CRS, which is an awesome bike. I always loved We The People. I think they make really original stuff that's very high quality. And Jaden Burns and his family went and delivered the bike and it was so cool to see because he actually filmed it. So Jaden goes up to Tyler, he tells him he has a helmet for him, but then he signals his dad to come down and he gives him the bike and Tyler was so psyched to get the bike. Tyler was cruising around the skate park, jumping over the hip, and it was so awesome to see the genuine enjoyment on Tyler just getting that bike. He was so surprised. I was like, really? This is mine for free? And that was so cool to see. So I'm so glad I was able to pull that one off. And there are more bikes I'm gonna be giving away. Me and Brooklyn just ordered everything for the next ones and I'm so excited to share them with you and you guys will be seeing them in about a week. So thank you all for submitting the comments for the giveaway bikes. I'm going to try to give away more in the future and I'm taking a lot of pride in being able to do this. Just being in a position that I can give away bikes, it means the world to me. So guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you to everyone for supporting my brand, Can't Slow Down. If you guys want to get involved, you guys can go to canslowdown.com or go to the link in the description of this video.